Hey everybody, Rick here from BC Firearms Training. Today what I want to do is make some videos which will help students of mine and other students of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course pass the practical exam. This is basically study material for those students. If you are an experienced firearms user, you might find this material far too basic. And if that's the case, feel free just to uh, go on to another video of mine or other videos. Now, uh, if you are planning on taking the firearm safety course, then I do recommend that if you've never touched a firearm before, if you have very limited knowledge, that you watch these demonstrations. Without further ado, let me get down to showing you how to clear different firearms for the practical test of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course. Hey everybody, Rick here from BC Firearms Training and in today's video we are going to prove semi-automatic firearms safe to the standard of the Canadian Firearms Safety Course. So we are going to do four different firearms today. The first firearm I'm going to demonstrate is the SKS. That is a very common firearm used in the Canadian Firearms Safety Course because it is so cheap. So the SKS is this firearm here. It is a semi-automatic rifle. The first thing I need to do is to check to see if there's any ammunition in this magazine. So I'm going to hook my finger right back against uh, behind, in front of this little tab here. Just pull it back. That will open up the magazine. Once the magazine is open, if there's any cartridges in there, they would fall to the floor. Now I'm going to close this magazine and open the action. And then I'm going to open the magazine again. At that point I can observe the chamber is empty, verify that the feeding path is clear, and then with my cleaning rod I will examine the bore, putting it down the muzzle and watching it come through the open action. So now I know this firearm is clear. If the uh, instructor then asks me to what ammunition this firearm discharges, I'll read that off of the side. 7.62 by 39, that's the name of the cartridge. If he says, please load two rounds and chamber one round of the correct ammunition, I will close the, action, the magazine, leaving the action open. As luck would have it, I only have one round of the correct cartridge. I will confirm that that is 7.62 by 39. And then what I'll do is I'll low, lie it on the, the magazine and then push it down until it snaps into place. At that point, I will pull back on the charging handle and let go. Then I'll do whatever else the instructor asks me. And then on the ceasefire, I'm going to go through the exact same procedure. Open, close, open, open observe, verify, and then examine the bore. Now I'm satisfied that this firearm is clear. I will leave it down on the table with the action up and open. So another very popular firearm that you may find is a firearm that has a tubular magazine chambered in 22 and uh, this for example is a Marlin Model 60. To clear this firearm I'm going to first check to see if there's ammunition in here. Now normally I would check the magazine first however this is a tubular magazine with a loading port up top and an inner tube so it would be kind of uh, a little dangerous if the action were to be closed and I was to be fooling around with this tubular magazine up front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the action first. Now this magazine tube is empty so it's going to stay back but if it didn't I would use this little bolt latch and I would just move it forward to keep it latched uh, open. Now I can see down inside the open action and I can see the follower of the the uh, the, the inner tube of your magazine. So I know that it is clear that there's no ammunition in there. But just to be sure, I'm going to take out the inner magazine tube and I'm going to pour any ammunition that's in there out. 
Then uh, I can put reinsert this magazine tube. Now I'm going to observe the chamber and I've already verified the feeding path when I checked the uh, the magazine and now the final thing is I'm going to examine the bore. Now uh, I don't actually have a cleaning rod that's this small. Normally what I do is I will feed a, um, a bore snake down it. This particular firearm I now know that this firearm is clear. To load this firearm I would load from the magazine tube up top. But I'm not going to do it with this particular firearm because uh, this uh, firearm does not like snap caps. So it would just get jammed. So we're not going to do that today. I'm going to move on to another firearm that is very popular, even probably more popular than the Model 60 Marlin. The next firearm I'm going to prove safe is the Ruger 1022, a very popular 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is remove the magazine. So I'm going to press forward on this latch, take the, the box magazine out. Now I'm going to pull that back and press down on that lever at the bottom and it will stay back. Now I'm going to observe the chamber is empty, verify the feeding path is clear, I can see right through the open action down to the floor, and then I can examine this with my cleaning rod, or in this case, this is a takedown model, I can simply remove the barrel and observe the bore just like that. Then it is really easy to put the barrel back in. To do that, what I did is I just pushed forward on this little lever here and just twisted the whole forend and took the, the barrel right off. When I put it back in, I'm just twisting it back into place. And this firearm is now clear. To load this firearm, first off, I'll have to check the ammunition is the uh, 20, 22 long rifle. And now I'm going to take the magazine that I removed and charge the magazine. In this case, I will charge with uh, two rounds, two snap caps. I will push down into the magazine and push them back. So push down on the flat part towards this little knob here at the back that sticks out, a little tab, and push them back. Now, I will insert the magazine, push forward on this lever here, when pull, pulling back on the bolt and charge the firearm. On the ceasefire, remove the magazine. Has one cartridge in there. Now I'm going to pull back on the charging handle and because the snap cap didn't come out all that well and press on the bottom of this latch here, keeping the bolt open. Now observe the chamber, that's empty, verify the feeding path is clear, and again, I can remove the barrel, which is really simple to do on this firearm, and examine the bore visually. Now this firearm is clear. The last semi-automatic I'm going to demonstrate is the semi-automatic shotgun. And the one that I'm going to demonstrate with is a Beretta. Pick this shotgun up. I'm going to roll it over upside down and press on the lifter. I can see the follower. I know that the tube in the magazine is empty. Now I'm going to roll it over and on the way over I'm going to press this little tab down on uh, the back end of the lifter. Press it into the frame. That will allow the lifter to come all the way down. Now when I pull back on the charging handle, it keeps the firearm open. Now I'm going to observe the chamber, that's empty, verify the feeding path is empty, and reach forward for balance, and with my cleaning rod with the mop on the end, 
I'll feed that down through the muzzle and watch the mop come through the open action. And now I'm done verifying this firearm is clear. At that point, the instructor will probably ask me what ammunition this firearm discharges. I'll read from the side of the shotgun, 12 gauge, three inch shotgun shells. At that point, he may ask me to load two and chamber one shotgun shell of the correct ammunition. So I'm gonna close the action here by pressing the bolt release and letting it go forward. Now, I'm just gonna bring it forward nice and easy so that it doesn't put unnecessary wear on my shotgun here. And now the, the action is closed. Now I'm gonna roll it over. I'm gonna pick up a shotgun shell. I'm gonna check that I do have the correct ammunition. This is 12 gauge and that is three inches. And I'm going to load it into the magazine. We check another shotgun shell, take it out of the box, and make sure it is the correct shotgun shell. And then load it into the magazine. At that point, I will press that tab again by the lifter. It will release a shotgun shell into the feeding path. Then I'm going to pull back on the charging handle and release the charging handle, chambering a shotgun shell. At that point, I will do whatever the instructor asks, and then uh, he will say cease fire. First thing I'm going to do is roll over the shotgun and see that there is a shotgun shell in the Hubler magazine. Well, what I'm going to do with this particular shotgun and open the, press this on the back, and then open the action. That will prevent the shotgun shell from the magazine releasing into the open action. Then I'm going to close that again by pressing down on the front of it. The shotgun shell is still in the magazine. Then holding down, I will press the bolt release and the shotgun shell will come out. And now I am empty. To confirm I'm empty, I will press that tab again, bring the charging handle back, observe the chamber, verify the feeding path is empty, and then examine the bore with my cleaning rod. And I'm clear.